Hey guys, I've shown you some cool stuff that you can do with a couple of Shashibo cubes. Let's throw in a few more. Some really common shapes in Shashibo, like this UFO shape right here, are a lot of fun to mess around with and figure out different ways that you can make them interact with each other. So what I have here are four common shapes that you can make with Shashibo, including this, which is one of my favorites because you can get anywhere from here. Making those four common shapes and adding them together allows you to do all sorts of cool things. So I'm gonna make a couple more of them into those shapes. Now that I have all my shapes, I'm gonna start putting them together. So four of this star shape right here comes together into this nice shape right here. All of these achieve something which is called tetrahexagonal symmetry, which is a lot of fun to play around with because you can just orient them in all these different ways and find all these really cool points of symmetry. One of my favorite things to show off with these is how even though this is made up of four stars and is obviously a pretty different shape from this one right here, when you put four of them together, they start to look pretty similar. Now you can also connect these on the inverse side and make a completely different shape like this guy right here. And then I'm gonna take this ring shape and connect four of them together. That's a pretty cool one too. And then you can see how right here we have the inside of the triangle taking up that piece right there. And so you can kind of see a few similarities between these guys already geometrically. Now, the really cool part of these happens when I take one of this shape right here and realize that the recesses in this work really quite well with this shape right here. So I can actually, with four of them, put these all the way around this shape right here. It looks the same, but that's eight of them now. This star shape has a hexagon right through it, which means that one of them fits nice and neatly right around one of the knobs on this shape right here. So with three more, I can wrap them all the way around into this really cool kind of pattern right here. And now I'm just gonna take this shape and break each of them down in that triangle like I showed you earlier, and they fit right in that recess like they do on the inside into a solid ball all the way around with 16 of them.